Hey guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hill. So here we are starting the uh, wall cutting efforts. So all the containers are kind of seam welded at the top. Saw my prior video. They're sealed, weather sealed for the most part. And now we're going to start to cut the walls out. So this is the first wall I cut. Um, I got better and better as uh, practice makes perfect, right? So it was pretty okay. Uh, the plasma cutter works really good. Um, we're trying to do sections that are probably about five feet wide, six feet wide maybe, and uh, trying to get them out of the containers near CNG. And uh, Pop are going to come in here. And we're going to move this away from the door. Uh, later on, I just started thumping them out of the door, just sliding them out uh, a little easier and safer. Probably nobody at the bottom. Um, but anyway, it was working pretty good. So I'm not going to show you every single cut I make, but these are the first few ones, so I uh, videoed them a little, little more than the rest. Um, so plasma cutter tips, I didn't realize I had uh, probably three or four different sizes. Um, the first one I used was the one that came with the plasma cutter, um, and I burned this one up after probably another three or four uh, containers. But uh, I found out um, the last one I put on, which you'll see near the end of the video, is the... Uh, tip probably made for cutting this kind of stuff. It's got more of a castle and a little more air gap to blow the, the material away from the cut. Um, but anyway, it worked. either one of them worked really good, um, so not a big deal, but uh, they obviously don't last forever. They're, they're disposable uh, components. So here's, you, here's how you get rid of the stuff from the inside. <laughs> Just throw it out. Um, and then I use it as a slide. Yay! <laughs> So here's what it looks like cutting from the uh, the back side. Uh, makes a mess, right? So the plasma shoots, the, the air shoots the, the molten metal out of the cut. And uh, it takes a little bit because the corrugations make it, the, the tool, you have to do it from two directions. Uh, just so you can get the head, the cutting head in, the, in between them and stuff. Um, it's, for the most part, it's supposed to be flat against the material. Sometimes it was a little angle, so it take, took a little more and a few extra cuts. <laughs> So after cutting the top, uh, some of the things just were freeze together. I didn't show you the whole thing, but anyway, just moving these things out, and then I just drop them out of the out of the hole. So here's my uh, seaming cuts, the vertical cuts. Basically, I just find a uh, a V where I can put the the tool, and it'll ride nice and straight. Uh, these cuts, of course, I don't. I'm going to reuse some of this material for the floor in the living room. So I'm I'm trying to make nice cuts because I'm going to weld them back together um, after I plop them on the floor, and then they're going to get filled with concrete anyway. So they don't have to look good or be nice, but uh, I do want to make, make true cuts anyway. So this is still the first big wall I'm cutting out. This is the actual spare bedroom uh, apartment area. Um, I'm doing again the five foot sections and then I just start seeing seaming them out and uh, I'll pop them on the floor here and leave them there and uh, continue and continue so you can see the blue container right beside it that's on the other side so it's, it's double the cuts for everything because you know two containers are together two sets of walls So here's the view from the other side. I already cut one section out of the blue. So again, I seamed the bottom already. I cut some of the vertical cuts, and now I'm just cutting the top. Pretty as close as I can get it to the ceiling. So hopefully you can see this uh, red laser line right uh, kind of near the top of the ladder. Um, I've got a, a X laser, a skill laser tool that lets you do vertical and horizontal uh, uh, laser beams, laser 
lines. So I, uh, I'm cutting along that line. This is the door that leads from the apartment into the hallway that joins the, uh, the middle two yellow containers. And uh, you can see the crowbar stuck in there um, just so I can get it to separate and then cut some of the uh, slag that kind of melts itself back together. Pretty straightforward. Just a lot of, uh, you know, slow cutting and then prying. And a few more cuts here and there. Good camera work, yeah. And then you just throw it down into the other container. And that's our, um, kind of our uh, hallway area. And here's Angie doing uh, some grinding. Even though we probably don't need to do this too much, we're just taking the sharp pieces off the, the cuts that I made uh, just to make it flat. Uh, we're gonna flood the, all the floors with probably two, two and a half inches of concrete, maybe even three, depending on how things go. Um, and then, of course, I gotta weld where Angie's grinding, there's a about an inch gap. I'll show you that later. And we're gonna put angle iron in between it and weld it in um, and seam that. So it'll be everything will be sealed and I'll probably seal the wells um, in the middle that you saw um, as well. I've not decided on that yet, but uh, probably overkill. But we're gonna flood the uh, foam in there anyway. Spray foam, so it should be all good. So this is our kind of our living room area. On to the right, that goes into their um, patio and deck area. And here I'm cutting the doorway to leads into the hallway from that. Um, right on the left side, that'll be all cut away um, to go into our dining room, living room area. And the stairs are pretty much where the camera is, I think. So you'll see that later as well. Anyway, we're just cutting the uh, roughly four foot wide four and a half foot wide uh, door opening or hallway opening there's no door here and uh, you'll see that the stuff comes out and uh, just continue and then later on you'll see me doing our bedroom door and then uh, cutting the walls out of the bedroom So for normal doors, I'm actually cutting a little oversized hole, it's a 90 inch hole because uh, since we're not doing 2x4 construction as a structural component, um, this is all going to be framed in steel wise. Um, I'm leaving some of the, the header material um, from the, the container and that's going to be the structure. So you'll see that happening but it's uh, roughly a, a wider opening than I need for the doors. This, this might be a uh, sliding door. Uh, or barn door, one of the two, and uh, ta da! Now we go into our this is our master bedroom, bathroom area, and uh, this is the first time I walk through it and open the doors. Yay! So here's uh, just a walk through with the GoPro. I just handheld it and walked through the area. Um, this all this wall is going to be gone. This is two containers for our master bedroom, bathroom, and uh, walk in closet area. The whole entire wall disappears. This is a hallway, probably four feet wide-ish. See my hand gestures, yep. And then we're walking out the door into the hallway 
to the left. I don't know if I should fan the camera there. Where the fan is, that's going to be a utility room, uh, washer, dryer, etc. Stairway, walk down the hall. Stairway ends over here somewhere, and the walls basically get cut open. Here is going to be a big door and window, uh, sliding door probably, and this is all gone. And fireplace right there. Yeah, you can tell through my hand gestures what's going on, right? So here we are walking into the hallway. It's kind of an angled hallway. To the left of us will be one office, to the right, uh, engine office, hall, small hallway, and at the end of the hallway is a, a bedroom right there. And then we walk into the uh, the other bedroom uh, with the living room. So it's kind of, we're calling it an apartment, but it's, it's not really technically an apartment, it's just a spare bedroom. Anyway, that's the walk. Thanks for watching. Uh, next set of videos will probably be uh, a little more wall cutting, and then we're gonna start doing the floor uh, structural construction so I can put the floor down in the living room.